Hello everyone, this is Carla de la Rosa King, Immigration Attorney, and today I have a frequently asked question for you. And the question is, what can I do if my I-601A waiver or my provisional unlawful presence waiver was denied by USCIS? If you are in this situation, it's very important that you consult with an immigration attorney. So the immigration attorney can review your case and determine what to do next. Um, if your waiver was denied because you didn't meet with the requirements, for example, you file a waiver, but you file a waiver and you didn't have the qualifying relative, then the waiver was properly denied because you didn't meet with the requirements, so you shouldn't have filed for the waiver in the first place. But if your waiver was denied because you were not able to prove to USCIS that your qualifying relative will suffer extreme hardship if you are not able to immigrate to the United States, then that will be a different scenario. In that situation, I will talk to you in detail. Um, the first thing that I will do is I'm just going to make sure that you do meet all the other requirements for the I-601A waiver. And if the only reason your case was denied was because USCIS determined that you were not able to show or to prove that your qualifying relative was going to suffer extreme hardship, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk with you in detail. I'm going to go uh, in detail to your background. Um, and also, if possible, I will want to see a copy of the waiver that was filed to you with USCIS. This part is important because I will be able to see if the waiver was properly filed or maybe uh, you didn't, the waiver didn't address all the key points that should be addressed on a, this type of waiver. Uh, maybe your circumstances change and, and now you have, uh, you, your circumstances are more compelling. So there are several things that I would the several things that I would do once you tell me that your waiver is denied to be able to determine what's your next course of action. And so depending on what I see, depending on maybe you submitted a, a waiver that wasn't was poorly prepared uh, or maybe you didn't include all the key factors that you should have included on the on this type of waiver, um, in that a scenario, uh, my advice probably will be probably will be just to refile the waiver. We will work on the waiver again. We will submit and we will prepare a complete and strong waiver uh, based on your circumstances. Um, so it is important that if your waiver is denied, you do consult with an immigration attorney because there might be the possibility of refiling the, that waiver. Um, you do have to remember that waivers are very complex. So it, you, when you submit this type of waiver, you need to submit a complete waiver. You need to make sure that when you submit this waiver, you do meet all the requirements and you need to make sure that you address all the key factors that will show to USCIS that your qualifying relative will suffer extreme hardship if you are not allowed to immigrate to the United States. Um, so if you're in this situation and you need assistance with your, with your waiver, please feel free to give us a call at 773-366-1214 and schedule a consultation with me. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.